Alright you guys, false alarm, false alarm. Now as you guys know, um, there was a bit of an uproar with solo leveling arise due to the fact that we thought that this game was looking to be put on the blockchain with the involvement of like NFTs and tokens and whatnot. And obviously hearing about that is not a good thing because it does kind of kill the game because ultimately doing all of the NFT and blockchain stuff um, caters to like a niche part of the player base right and so that's why I say it's going to kill off the player base if they decide to go down that route and uh, apply like a token economy to where you know you can sell things buy things etc of course um, and you know it, even though it's a, it's a solo game people will then apply bots and that's why I say people can manipulate the, the, the economy and the cost of the token like there's so much things that can just go wrong and just make this game horrible now the developers have come out with a notice to furthermore uh, confirm that it's A-OK -okay. this game is still here I mean we've still got the initial issues that they need to figure out on of course <laughs> But in terms of the NFT side of things, so the notice came up to say that uh, today's Marble X new global pro um, marketing program, Netmarble partner creator plus M, was officially announced, and Solo Leveling Rise were introduced as the first target game of the program. Partner creator plus M will provide the ability to convert points accumulated through the activities of those who support creators into Marble X, and will be used as rewards for partner creator activities simply as an affiliation service. Global par uh, partner creators who are currently working on NPC Plus Season 3 can also participate. We would like to reiterate that this is not something uh, that will be incorporated into Solo Leveling Rise game and there will be no plan to introduce elements such as blockchain or NFTs. So, just to kind of give you guys the whole shebang for anyone who's still not understanding what's going on. Uh, as a creator, as you guys know, if you support me, at the end of the season we get payment we get funds sent to ourselves of course and basically they've just made it as an alternative payment where we can get paid in um in like this marble x token basically basically crypto they're going to pay us in crypto that is all that is happening that is everything that is it the, the, the game is not going to get affected there's not going to be any token economy there's not going to be any type of nft the game is going to be kept the same the only thing that is coming out from this um, uh, partnership, I guess, is that as a creator, through the content creator program, we can now accept crypto as payment, which, God forbid, I will never do. All right. It's, there's just so many crypto horror story. And not to be that guy, um, you know, I, there's a few things I look to. I, I do like to keep up with crypto. And so I decided to, to kind of check out <laughs> the market <laughs> for Marble Oaks and um, yeah now nah, I'm good and plus with the funds that the, the, they still haven't sent me by the way um, I, I, I use that back into giveaway so if I do the giveaways how am I gonna give you guys crypto I don't know it's just it's a bit of a weird one but either way um, now just to clarify with where I'm at obviously because I mean if you've seen my previous video you know I despise crypto blockchain NFT it's, it's a big scam. I've seen so many games push NFTs and all that stuff, and I've just seen people get scammed left and right. Um, someone actually did speak about the uh, Kuno, uh, uh, Nino Kuni uh, game, so I just kind of want to go through this with you guys so you guys can get an idea. Even though I did kind of briefly talk about on how crypto is actually a bad thing and how we can kind of separate the player base tremendously, this kind of gives you guys an idea. So... Um, I played uh, Nino Kuni on release, and what this basically did was have the uh, well an option for whales to get mats and or currency to ascend or uh, level skills. If you were free to play at that time, that meant farming a specific place 24/7 for those mats with horrendous drop rates. Uh, then came in the bots that were also farming that place to sell it. Basically, crashed the prices at one point, and it just became harder to farm. Then even more with entire maps filled with bots. SLA is basically a single player game, so same thing won't happen exactly, but uh, we can be pretty sure that it will be another avenue of possible exploit or a spike in difficulty for gathering reforce, uh, resources up to a certain point. It could be up to, uh, it could be that the currency there would be used to trade and buy certain uh, ascensions or improvements mats going forward or they could throw in here the leaked artifact reroll mats we might also be witnessing artifacts or weapon uh, 
becoming broken, which needs to be fixed for specific mats. Again, which may need to use a new uh, currency possibly introduced. So this is basically uh, one of the concepts that they decided to go with when it comes to NFTs and blockchains type of games, of course. Again, this, well, this, yeah, this isn't exactly the first rodeo. I, I've, th there's a reason why. I mean, again, if you've known me from even previous, <laughs> I despise NFT and blockchain games. I know what they are. They're scams. They're BS. Like I say, they can split up the player base to the point where the game itself is no longer fun. Um, a lot of people drop games such as like these, of course. So there's a big reason why i have a lot of hatred towards nft and blockchain and that's why when i did my video i was just like they better not do what i think they're going to do and i do kind of like to let them know that obviously with this whole token economy that they apply into these games it's complete bs because the wall behind uh like the crypto wall i mean it's i mean no one really wants to get into crypto no one wants to go about buying these goddamn crypto tokens and whatnot because i mean for the most part it's just going to be a huge loss no i mean well it's tough to say if it's going to be a huge loss because there have been some successful tokens through uh, games and whatnot. Um, I, know, I know a few people that have actually come out thankfully on top with uh, Nino Kuni. I mean, I, I think I think uh, someone made like five hundred dollars and whatnot. But ultimately, it just affects the game in a negative manner. Now, obviously, tomorrow was going to be the day where they kind of confirm things. Kind of weird on why they're slightly confirming it now i guess with the uproar from the community um they probably decided to push the post out right now um which i think is a good thing get it out there you know let, let everyone just kind of calm down a bit there was also another game um it was like a racing car game and so many people got done dirty i can't remember what the game was but it was like a full-on nft blockchain type of game and uh, yeah a lot of people got scammed in it in that um car racing gacha game of course so like you just hear so many horror stories and so hearing solo leveling arise being partnered up with the blockchain and nfts it just it kind of pissed me off like it really did because it, it, it's a game for after a long period of time that i found that i enjoy playing to this day and i know i enjoy doing content on it i give the developers their props yes there's improvements and things that need to be fixed for the game but ultimately if we get there we get there and then for them to all you know all of a sudden start involving nft and blockchain it, I, I instantly go back to wait. I, I've I've seen where games go down these roads, and I'm just like, this better not be what it is. Um, so even though you know we were kind of waiting on for more explanation, of course, it just you know it, it rubbed me the wrong way on why they would kind of even go down this route to even consider doing just that. Just kind of wanted to reiterate on where I stand with all of these NFT stuff, and just kind of wanted to further explain on why I'm not a fan of it. And how it does kind of separate the player base and kind of affect the game in a negative manner, of course. I mean, those are in NFTs and, and crypto and etc. And of course, I mean, you'll have a blast, right? Because um, at that point, again, you'll be able to make some sort of money out of it just through playing the game, right? As, as a regular player, there, there are means of doing that. But for the most part, um, and I'm pretty sure with <laughs> most of us, when it comes to these type of things, of course, we just tend to avoid it just not to lose out on money and not to be scammed, etc. Because ultimately... You know, you hear all the horror stories, like I say, and you just kind of tend to just want to avoid it, of course. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I've seen the ups and downs um, of, of, of what this is all about. So, again, just want to clarify. When this all initially came out, I just thought of the worst because I've seen the road that certain games t that have taken with these type of uh, NFTs BS. And I've seen the players get scammed out of it. That's why I'm completely against all of this I'm, I'm not a fan of it that's just who i am that's just what i believe and from what i've seen and from what i've read um, etc it's it's a no-no for me but i'm grateful and i'm thankful that they've cleared it up that it's just another form of payment um for the creators that's it that is all so yeah again i can only speak on what i've experienced and what i've seen and that's why when it comes to me and how i went about it that's you know just want to clarify that just not a fan of it I absolutely despise it. I absolutely hate it. If you know me from back in the day, then you already know how where I stand with all of this. No. Even with um, Seven Deadly Sins Origin, when they said that that was going to be going on the NFT and blockchain, oh, hell no. I was ripping the hell out of it. No, no, no. But now it's not, by the way. So that's a good thing. Now, Marble decided not to do that. So, yeah. When it comes to me and blockchain NFTs, hell no.